Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build my normal chest bomb too. Now, my older normal chest bomb was whenever you put an item into it, it would explode and kill you or kill your friends or whatever. However, this one's a little bit different. This one is whenever you take an item out of it, it will explode and kill you and or your friends. So since I'm on creative mode, I'm not going to die. But if I go inside my chest, as you can see, I have a diamond sword in here. I have some iron armor. Maybe I made something for our Hunger Games. However, once I take something out of this chest like this, it'll explode and kill me. <laughs> but since I'm on creative mode, I survived. But that, yes, that would have definitely have killed me. Now, this thing is very easy to make, guys. Not very hard to make at all. So, I'm going to pretty much straight up build this whole entire thing with you guys. All right, guys. So for this build, all you have to do is just find a wall and have enough space to dig down to. And then have enough space behind the wall to go backwards to as well. Now, we're going to put in our redstone in our chest first. And then I'll tell you how pretty much the items work with, you know, taking them out and having it explode. Or, you know, you can don't you don't have to make this into a trap. You can also make it into a security system or however you would like to do this. So, for this build, we're going to need at least two chests, one redstone redstone torch one dispenser three redstone dust one redstone comparator and some blocks to put our redstone down on now for our blowing up part which is going to kill us we're going to need a rail a minecart with tnt and then as much tnt as you really want and then we're also going to need some blocks of choice so what you want to first start off by doing is just put down two normal chests like this and we'll put the items in later we'll get into all that because you know it depends on how many items you have in there or like how much you want to put in there and we're going to go into all that later on but then what you're going to do is come out right behind your wall and put a comparator coming out like this so anytime you put an item into this chest right here this comparator will turn on so if i throw an item in here let's say we put our comparator in there as you can see my comparator just came on because it will travel through the block picking up the signal and that's how it pretty much works once we take an item out of it it's going to explode and kill us so if we wanted to just put one item in there like this then all you're going to need is just one torch right there and it will explode and kill us however we want to put a few items in there to make this whole thing work so then right in front of the comparator what we're going to do is dig down two blocks right here put two redstone dust like that and then put a block in front of your comparator just like this having this two having two pieces of redstone dust right here will give us the option to put at least four stacks of 64 in there or well actually it's three stacks of 64 and 55 of an item or we could put in four items such as you know a sword a bow and things like that like i had in the beginning next what i want you to do is dig down two blocks right here and then coming off this redstone dust we're going to put a torch like this then we're going to dig all the way underneath our chest just like this i like to just dig out this whole little area it'll make it a lot easier for you to put in your tnt and all the good stuff next what i want you to do is just put some redstone dust coming out of your torch like that and then we're going to put a dispenser right here make sure it is a dispenser not a dropper and i almost forgot we're also going to need some flint and steel for this build so make sure you just get out some flint and steel and then go ahead and chuck it in your dispenser just like that now we're going to go ahead and put in our blowing up part which will kill you and or your friend so we're going to go ahead and put a block right in front of our dispenser just like this put a rail right on top of our block and then put a minecart with tnt right on top of that delete this block right here make sure you pick up your rail if you are on normal however this would be very 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 evil to do this to your friend on normal hopefully you're just doing this for like an adventure map or something like that and then obviously you can go ahead and fill up this whole area with tnt as much as you pretty much want to now we're going to go ahead and go through how the items work and things like that so before we do that what i'm going to do is just take out the flint and steel just take out your flint and steel just for now because i'm going to show you how all this works and things like that so with the two pieces of redstone dust like this that means i can add up to like i said three stacks of 64 of any item and a 55 stack so let's say i have a stack of diamonds a stack of emeralds a stack of iron and a stack of gold so if i go ahead and throw all these in here so my stack of diamonds emeralds ingots and gold will now light up both of these pieces of redstone dust as you can see this torch is now off it is no longer on however if i even remove watch this redstone dust down here i want to make sure you can see it on the corner as you can see you can see the redstone dust right here just look at this piece of redstone dust right here when i go inside the chest if i take out one piece of anything out of here let's say if i take a half a stack or the stack out watch that redstone dust Boop. as you can see it went off see how it went off i'll do it again it went off just like that so pretty much what that's going to do is when that goes off it will then activate the torch thus exploding the tnt now if you want to get technical with this if you want to make it exactly the amount where if you just take one item out of it and it will set this thing off you're gonna to have to put at least 55 in here so uh let's let's put up the 55 let's see over to 55 nope so 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 like that you see the light came on so now if you take out just even one so let's say if i put 54 in there Oop, you see the redstone dust is off out there but now it's on 
off on off on beautiful so if you want to have a perfect stack then it would be a three stacks of 64 and 55 at your last stack now if you don't want to use stacks of stuff and you want to just use items you can go ahead and trade out all this stuff for just like you know swords and things like that so if you want to put like a sword and some eye uh armor in there and a bow that will also pretty much one item is like a stack of items so if i go ahead and throw all four of these items in there as you see the redstone dust activates and if i even remove one of them then it turns off so pretty much having one of these items in here is like having a stack of big items inside there as well but if you want to get technical with your stacks then it's three stacks and 55 or you could just use you know four items and such like that like i did over when we blew up that area so let's just test this out and make sure everything is working i'm not going to put the flooring in because you kind of get an understanding of what's going on so we're going to go ahead and put our flint and steel back inside our dispenser now if i take any item out of this this is going to explode and kill us so boom, boom. <laughs> And that's pretty much how the whole thing works. Now, if you want to add more items in, that means we're going to have to make our redstone a little bit longer. So now I'm going to quickly show you how to extend it if you want to add more items to it. Now, this is completely up to you guys. I only did it to the point where, well, I just showed you. I've, I really pretty much only did that much. So if you want to make it so you have more items in, you're going to have to figure this out on your own a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and put in two chests like that. Go ahead and put our comparator in. If you want to figure out like how much you can go with this or how much the items are going to be, what I usually do is I'll just make a big line like that of some redstone dust. And now we can go ahead and test out like you know what's the maximum capacity for certain things like so the one i did which is three stacks of 64 and 55 turns on two pieces of redstone dust it only turns on two pieces of redstone dust so let's add in let's say we're gonna so pretty much an item like i said an item is like a stack guys so we're gonna go ahead and throw in all four of these stacks there we go so that should turn on two redstone dust beautiful so then let's go ahead and throw in our diamond sword that should act pretty much like a stack so let's throw it in as you see no redstone dust came on so let's just grab stacks of uh stuff let's just do this let's just keep grabbing uh there we go <laughs> so let's uh, throw in another stack i see nothing happened throw in another one nothing happened another oh there we go there we go let's take this off so pretty much what you're going to need if you want to have three pieces of redstone dust come on instead of two you're going to have to have at least eight stacks it seems so it's pretty much like every four stacks i guess so let's put in four more stacks so one two three and four yep another one came on so every pretty much every four stacks of an item or you know you could put in a diamond sword chest plate to combat and with the stacks will add another signal onto this so now if i take out any items from this it will explode and kill so there you guys go that is how you make a normal chest bomb where if you take items out of it it will explode if you want to see the one where if you put items in it will explode i have a link to that one in the description below as well so you know what let's just set this thing up to kill us so we're going to come right over here to the last piece of redstone dust put our torch in right here we're just gonna go over here with our dispenser there we go Ooh, you know what? i should take out another block just in case i do what i just did here <laughs> let's put this in here like that and we're gonna bring our redstone from underneath our torch all the way down to over here because it's always good to have the explosion right underneath your chest that's pretty much where you want to kill these people <laughs> or yourself i'm pretty sure no one's doing this to kill themselves but you know if you're testing out the redstone then i'm sure you're going to be killing yourself somewhere in the long run oh yeah we're also going to need some flint and steel for this build so let me get out some flint and steel real quick there it is boop Let's put our flint and steel inside our dispenser. Then we're going to go ahead and just put in some TNT that will explode and kill everything. Well, not everything. We're on creative. We won't kill nothing. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to take our minecart with TNT. Boop. Delete this block. Make sure you pick it up if you're doing this on survival. Put down some TNT like that. And we're going to cover this one up this time. There we go. So now if I take any item. Ooh, you know what? Let's do it down here too so we don't have to see any of this stuff. We want to make sure it's completely hidden, guys. There we go. So now if I take any items out of this, it'll explode and kill us. So boop, there we go. And there we go. <laughs> so you guys go. That is how you build a normal chest bomb where if you take items out of it, you will die. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.